Yo, 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 what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am JD and if this is your first time being here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you like to talk about sneakers or get the latest sneaker news. I try to post these at least three times a week, so hopefully you get some information from me. You can also find me on all the other social medias under at JD Sneakers on Fire. So if you don't have time for YouTube, go ahead and find me on those other platforms. So today we're going to dive into the week of May 1st and all the great sneaker releases that are coming around that. I'm going to do it just a little bit different format. So I'm used to going on to two separate videos doing the US release and European release. I'm going to try to combine it just a bit for the ones that are similar on the days. So tell me if you guys like that format, and if you do, I'll keep on doing it. And if you don't, maybe I'll switch it back up and split the two off. So to really kick us off for this week, we're going to jump over to May 2nd for the U.S. releases. Now, this sneaker is not a Jordan. It's not a Hype Yeezy, but there's a massive amount of demand for this particular sneaker. This <laughs> And good luck trying to get these. And what I'm talking about is the Hello Kitty Prestos. I don't know if you ever met a Hello Kitty fan, but they are some of the most loyal, will go out of the way to get whatever they want from this kind of sneaker. They're sly with it, no doubt about it. So if you wanted these, good luck, because you are not only going to battle sneakerheads, you're also going to battle the Hello Kitty fans. And not only that, these may be very limited. So I hope you guys get them. There's not really my style and I'm not going after them, but good luck. And I'm sure there's a lot of resale value to those. You can pick up the Hello Kitty for $140. On May 3rd, there is a US and European release. So these are one of those same release dates for both Europe and the US. It's the Jordan 1 Stash. This is a black colorway with a white bottom. It has a canvas overlay, and then it has the little black pouch in the back. Now, these are really meant for outdoors and to shove your keys in the back there, but I'm sure other people find other reasons to use that stash pouch. And you can pick up the Jordan 1 stash for $175. On May 4th, you got a re-release of the Nike Dunk Fossil Rose that will be dropping. Very clean colorway. I love the color blocking I always have. You're going to be able to pick these up for $110. The demand on these still seem pretty high, so they're definitely a flippable item if that's your thing. Uh, but they're also a very wearable shoe. Super clean. I love the colorway. On May 5th, we have yet another restock of the Nike Dunk Glow Pandas. This is like the 12th time or 13th time. I lost count of how many times this has restocked. And they keep will restocking these. These just constantly sell out. They are one of the most popular sneakers that Nike is currently selling. And they can't keep them in stock. So this may just overtake some of the common ones like Air Force Ones as far as just to go to. And maybe you'll just see a steady stream of these just constantly restocking. And that's okay. But just to let you know, the supply and demand of that the resale value will start to see those dwindle down. Re sell them now if you want to. They'll shoot back up to the 200 mark for sure, but they will be saturated. Also on May 5th, you have the Women's Dunk High Pink Prime. Or Prime Pink. Ah, anyway, it's a very vibrant pink shoe. If you're trying to make a statement, well, you're going to make it with this. You're going to be able to pick these up for retail for $115. I don't think you're going to have much of a problem if you really want these to go get them. I don't see a big resale market on those, but who knows, they may surprise me. Also on May 5th, you have the Nike Dunk Low Women's Patchwork dropping. Now this is a blend of all the animal prints that apparently Nike has, and I really think they missed a mark on this. I just, I don't understand the shoe, and maybe I don't need to, maybe it's for that particular person out there that really loves the colorways of all the animals in the kingdom, everywhere. But uh, for me, 
No thank you, but if you like them, go ahead and pick them up for 110. To finish off May 5th, another restock of Nike Dunk Low Court Purple will be dropping. You're going to be able to pick these up for $110. Now, again, a super clean colorway. I like these almost better than the Pandas. I really do like the color purple. Uh, I think it's just a really sharp color for a sneaker. So, in my personal opinion, go out and get those. They also resell pretty well. So, they're flippable, they're wearable, all the things you would want in a sneaker. On May 7th, you have this brick of a shoe, Jordan 9 Chili Red coming out. I wanted to like this shoe, and then I took a deeper dive into it, and really the materials that they use are almost not even worth building a shoe on. I would much rather have seen some of the better colorways coming out of the Jordan 9, because the Jordan 9 is not a bad silhouette. It's actually a pretty clean silhouette. I just don't like this red and black. And, you know, some people will. Some people will rock them and, and they'll look good with them. But I just wish they would have came out with a different colorway for the Jordan 9. And if you really want these, you're going to go ahead and pick them up for $200. And that will finish us off for the U.S. releases. And if you just jumped ahead to the European releases, we're going to go ahead and get into those now. On May 3rd, you have the Jordan 1 Mid Mint Foam dropping. I don't like this shoe. I typically like a mint color on the shoe. I really do. But then they mixed it with this blue that, for me, it just doesn't hit the way it should be hitting. I just don't like the color blue and that mint foam. It just doesn't give me the warm and cozy aesthetic feel. I just don't like how that blue and mint mix. It's like oil and water for me. Those two colors just don't mix. But if you want them, you'll be able to pick them up for 120 euro. Now, to go to a color that does hit pretty hard, the Jordan 1 Low Ashen Slate is dropping. Now, these are 120 retail, and they're a clean color. I actually like these very much with the two-tone grays. Now, on May 5th, there's multiple colorways coming out. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. The Amy Leon Door New Balance and the 650Rs. Now these are coming out in four different colorways and shout out to T-Dog out there because I know he's a huge New Balance fan and I'm sure he'll like these. They have a high top version. Basically it's the 550 in my opinion and then they put a bit of a high top feel to them and it really brings back the old school feel of the basketball shoes. Now, as somebody that has a few 550s I know they're quite heavy, so they're not really the modern day basketball shoe, but they do look really nice and give me that kind of old touch to it. And to finish us off on May 7th, the SB Dunk Low Bart Simpson is dropping. You're gonna be able to pick these up for 110 euro, and this is inspired by one of the most iconic animated problem childs out there of Bart Simpson. And this will go really well with the Marge Simpson that dropped in the SB Dunk High and the Homer Simpson that was the SB Dunk Low. Now, they just need Lisa and Maggie and they'll have the whole family done. Well, that is going to round us off for this week. I hope this is information that you guys enjoy. And go ahead and hit that notification bell to get my next video. Until then, have a great week. Take care.